What is going on guys and welcome to HTML tutorial in brackets. In this video we're going to learn how to add an unordered list to our web page. Now here's the deal. Uh, the same thing as like with everything else before for like 16 videos and all that. In order if we wanted to create some type of element we would have to write a tags right. And in this case for an unordered list it would be ul tags. And I would close it out like this. And now I have an ordered list, but if I want to add a list items, I would need to create another tags over here like this, and they stand for list item, right? And you can see that I have a right here a dot, and that would signal that I'm creating my first list. So I'm just gonna create a home over here, and what I'm gonna do over here, I'm just gonna paste them, right? So in here I have a, I'm gonna create a news, and then I'm gonna say that over here that I want contact and over here let's say I'm gonna write about right just like you would see in a normal website so and you can see the syntax in order if I want to create a unordered list I would have, first I would have to create ul tags like this and then within those ul tags I would have to sandwich these li tags and I can add as many as, much, as, many as I want or as little as I want right I could have just had one home, but uh, I added four, so I got four. So that's the syntax. Now, first question you would say is like, well, what's the big deal, right? Because that's exactly what I thought when I was uh, studying the HTML. I was thinking, well, what is the big deal? Why, why would you need uh, an order list like this, right? Well, just by doing a little bit of design, which is we're not going to do it right now. We're not going to cover it in HTML. We're going to cover that in H uh, CSS you could get something like this. And you, you have to admit that it looks much more better, right, than the one that we just created. However, the actual structure is still the same. In order to create this, right, this home news about all this menu, I would still have to do the same thing. So I cannot create a nice looking one over here without actually doing, doing the, the, the hard work over here and creating this list. So that's that that for the lists are used and that's why you, you are going to be using actually lists a lot. So practice it, get good at it and please don't don't treat it like it's something unuseful. Now another thing that I want to show you that actually if we wanted to over here we could create a anchor tags for the for our links, right? So we could create these list items over here as links. So I would have to do it over here, just cut it, paste it over here. And then let's say again, this one is going to go to my info page, right? So I'm just going to create an href over here. And I'm going to say the info HTML, right? And you can see that it's going to work the same way, like the same way before. But what we have done over here, we have actually within the list items, right? We actually also added the anchor tags or the links so whenever we press the list item we're actually going to be going to our to to our link whenever we specify it to go to so as i press over here and you can see that i'm going to the info page this is going to be it for this video guys thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video